If you've walked through or driven past Cleveland Park, you've probably seen the plane, a memorial for the lone combat death of the Cuban Missile Crisis. What you might not have seen are these stones commemorating every day of the 13 days of the crisis, explaining why this Greenville native might have saved the lives of millions with his death. Everybody loved him and was proud of him. Greenville's very proud. An upstate native, Eagle Scout, Clemson grad, and basically the reason World War III never happened. He called his mother the night uh, before his mission, and he said, do not worry about me because I am doing what I love. Major Rudolph Anderson Jr., a legacy still remembered decades later. He never wanted to shoot at anyone, so he always signed up for reconnaissance missions. Wow. Um, Peacemaker. Yes, very much. A peacemaker in every sense of the word. It's 1962, 12 days into the Cuban Missile Crisis, and Anderson's unarmed plane is shot down by Soviets. Anderson's death pushed this crisis to its limit. Uh, after Anderson's death, this crisis was going to go one of two ways, and I believe that President Kennedy and Premier Khrushchev understood that. According to Furman professor and local historian Courtney Tullison Hartness, she says it was either negotiate or nuclear warfare. Kennedy and Soviet Union Premier Nikita Khrushchev chose negotiate, a decision Cuban leader Fidel Castro didn't agree with. I think Castro was very upset coming out of the Cuban Missile Crisis because he was almost exclusively pushed out of the negotiations. The negotiations took place between the United States and the Soviet Union, and what he didn't want to happen was to be pushed out of those. Negotiations that only happened because of the death of a Greenville native, a husband, a father of two with one on the way. Major Anderson Jr. was only 35 years old when he died more than 54 years ago. Still, Greenville remembers their war hero, and you can learn a little bit more about him. She walked along the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Allie Miles, WYFF News 4 in Greenville.